very much live segregated se segregated the way it was designed under apartheid we still have black townships colored townships white suburbs and of course it is also then it is so it is divided on a social and an economic basis and people then so that over the last 25 years with in our new found democracy we still live we've actually become more polarized than united the only times that we've got very close to unification was or have a taste or a smell of unity is when we won the first world cup in 1995 springboks with madiba being the first, first black captain you know and you must you might have noticed or you might have seen the movie called um invictus yeah yeah that gives you an insight that is where we were happy for one day yeah and then we had another insight again when we were hosting the world cup yeah we managed for a month and then 12 uh, um two two weeks three weeks ago we were celebrating again the world cup for this for the third time and this time we had a black captain um and suddenly we started to tribalize it um some of us embraced it and others saw only the moment because we go into what is called these lapses where we where we have a taste and then we run away and that stems from not being able to meet at a very low level we don't meet on kindergarten level we don't meet as we we meet very very late we we've already been contaminated because you must know the older generations it is we that contaminate our children it is our it is our conditioning that will eventually condition our children and if we haven't really have had any paradigm shift then we cannot really improve society either or uh, the next generation so we are actually and that's why i say you could notice it when you look at the scriptures it took it took it took the israelis almost 40 years before they could be fully liberated because they had to get rid of that our that 40 years of generations before them before a new clean generation emerged and that is what's going to happen so that we see ourselves this group we see our this group of us as the moses of this democracy implying that we will never ever taste it but we are planting the seed for the next generation for, for the next generations to come and yeah for us change is painful because we are conditioned no 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 this is that this is then the experiences that many of our people have multiple have going to work in the morning they will leave i mean if work starts at about seven they will have to uh, arise at about four they will leave work at five they will reach home at seven seven thirty and that also means children are denied 
the appearance. And of course, so that we then have that challenge also within the townships. Many kids grow up unattended and that will eventually give rise to high levels of crime in the township too. An idle mind becomes a devil's workshop. You know, a frau commentar? Okay.